Welcome to the Lads AM Podcast, a show for those late night ramblings you only get when the rest of the world is asleep. This show is available in both podcast and Let's Play form. Check out our social media to find out how to listen the way you want to. Tonight, we are playing... Guys, he's doing the thing where he doesn't We're not gonna answer just... questions. <laughs> I think that means he's in because that's what he does. He just doesn't talk. <laughs> yeah. he just doesn't answer. He's, doing, he's doing a thing where he doesn't answer the question. You're here. I'm starting. Wait, no, no, don't do it yet. Don't start yet. What? I already clicked start game. Oh, that's, okay. We, Why? okay. Just keep doing it. It's fine. You can do it. Guys, Game Awards is so close. Bree. I can't it wait. Is. What number um, Game Awards is this that we've watched? Is this four? More than so three. Is it more than okay? That must be four. Yeah, then. I thought it was three. I think this is the fourth one we've watched. We will. Damn. Well, I know Robert and I've only been in the Discord since 2020. So yes. it, this would have to be a third one because wait, no, 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 never mind. This is fourth. Yeah, yeah. 2020, yeah, 2021, 2022. Yeah, this is the fourth one. This is the fourth one. Sick. Game Awards. Four. Although I don't know if I was there for the first one. I don't know if I watched with y'all for the first one. Hmm. I actually don't remember. I feel like I feel like the first one was like when everyone was here, even like people who don't typically participate in the Discord. Yeah, we. Did, I think we at one point had like a seven, like seven or eight people. Yeah, we had uh, really um, popped off. You're the Fitchburg people as well. Yeah, man. Oh, I need a cover image. What yeah, a cover image be. Just have it be the Game Awards kid when he came in. Oh, dude, 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 dude. honestly, I think he kind of ruined the uh, his whole vi- his whole vibe. Yeah, he kind of messed yeah. because if he was if he didn't like keep doing it over and over again, like if he just went radio silent for a year, like he didn't appear anywhere because mm-hmm. he could he couldn't have benefited much from what he was doing. Yeah, can't no. imagine. Hasn't he like been doing this before the Game Awards thing? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah he, he had done other stuff, but and I know in the time the time between he did like a couple like podcasts or whatever. But I think if he hadn't like tried to keep popping up places and he just like went silent on the internet for a year, people would be hyped up for it right now. Mm. People would be like, yo, do you think he's going to come back? Like, like he's a ghoul. <laughs> like, he's a ghost. Right. He's like the fan of the opera before the Game Awards. <laughs> Masquerade. Exactly, dude. Yeah. By the way, I'll go ahead and just throw this out there. Um, if I'm extraordinarily quiet during this podcast, as in I'm not talking, it's because I'm doing my best to not shit myself. Ooh, you don't like the spooky game? I no. don't do jump scares. Okay, wow. I have a well, I have a question. Yeah, because we're hang on one second, actually. Okay. So you guys come here often? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> True. So is that knocking noise actual knocking noise? Is that one you in the soundboard? I really hope. I really was wishing it was someone. Damn, what do you want to talk? What do you want to talk about while he's not here? All of our least favorite parts of him. True. I, I hate think. you. <laughs> there is no, there isn't even a door there, and I was like, oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> it's literally yeah. just a wall. No, that one sucks because that is actually the exact location of my door. <laughs> <laughs> I ha- I too have a wall to my right, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, where's the door? Oh, oh, it sounds like it's like right in your ear. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He's playing now, but not talking. All right. His next I have a situation control. going on. Y'all, I'll explain in a minute. Okay. Game Game Awards event created. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and uh. Head over let's, there. Let's let's all let's all join you. You, the viewer at home, also feel free to join us for the Game Awards watch party. Uh, if you can find the Discord, you can join. If you can join, if you can find our Discord, you can join. 
<laughs> we'll make we'll make a little bit of a <laughs> why. <laughs> Why is the guy from Robots there with the anime? <laughs> Why does he have anime eyes? Because okay, he's got I, anime I, eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I had mentioned before podcast began, I had mentioned to y'all that one of my uh, nephews is staying the night. Mm-hmm. Don't the tell me he knocked son. So me he not the prodigal before. son, my second oh, nephew. Um, like so he, he's spending the night along with my sister and my sister's dog. Uh-huh. So my nephew was put to sleep a while ago. My sister and the dog just went to sleep. But the issue is that a lot of times when my sister's dog spends the night here, uh, the dog will stay in my room. So when she was brought upstairs, she decided to come straight up to my room. My sister opened the door was like, yeah, she thinks she's staying the night here. And then the dog just wouldn't leave my room. <laughs> you got a friend. Yeah, nope, nope. My sister carried her out. <laughs> My room, right. is no, my room is not currently safe to have a dog wandering around, so... Uh, I get that. Back... I.e. there are socks and stuff that she would choke on, so... Yeah, no, I get it. Especially, like, when... Like, my dog... My dog was never allowed in my room. Mm-hmm. Because basically... Because my dog was a, is a chihuahua. So basically everything's bigger than her. Uh, mm-hmm. So and so it's like yeah, even the smallest thing would be dangerous. Yeah, my my sister's dog is a French bulldog, which is also pretty small. So, dude, my cat though will just run in here sometimes. I don't even know why. Oh yeah, no, my bedroom's safe for my cat. Cats, anyways. Cats are nuts. No, I'm just saying, cats are kind of crazy. Oh yeah. Um, what were you trying to say before I had to interrupt you? Oh, I was saying that I, I was uh, a little bit surprised on how much you were talking about not wanting to play this before we yeah, start. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I guess. Like, Dustin had asked me, like, where are the odds that you make it to an hour? And I was like, well, an hour ago, I would have said fine. Like, did I didn't expect her to be a problem at all. Okay. But then, so like, let's say so you like, talk for the past hour. I'm like, damn, is he actually like? So let me a couple of things. So first of all, there's no doubt in my mind that I will be fine for the podcast, because I'll be honest, especially without the audio, I already feel so much better. Okay. Um, But you have to understand that, like, I was traumatized as a kid by my father about pop ups, jump scares. I think you've told us like a spider, right? No, 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 no. Wait. My dad, multiple times, he in the early days of YouTube, he would find these jump scare videos and scare <laughs> nine year old me with them. That was amazing. <laughs> so, uh, because of that's that, that's everyone, though. Yeah, but like I was being yeah. traumatized. I think so, it, like, it, it, it hits everyone different. So, like, jump scares, I don't do great with jump scares. Now, you... it depends on the situation. For example, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think the, that's gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gonna... Oh, if his if his just mouse just... your boots, are you? <laughs> if if no. his mouse just but, jerked um... right there, that would have been great. Who's <laughs> 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 um... <laughs> But no, in general, so I do better with things when I know that I'm going to be jump scared. Mm -hmm. So like, even if I had the audio on, it would be like, I would literally be like, oh God. And like, maybe like need like a couple seconds. But like, that would be the extent of it. But like, I am in a position, I really hope he's not right over here because I need that. Yoink. You think it could be a little? It could. It could have gone the other direction. Ooh. You could be like I a. Where uh, he is. You could be like a. Uh, a veteran. Like a stone cold nothing bothers you veteran. I because you you were just exposed to you were yeah you were thrown into the fire. No. But like even to this day, like I will tell you right now, and please. Please, I know y'all like to rip on people. I know y'all like to make jokes about shit. 
I am telling you right now, if any of you do this, I'm not going to be happy. But, oh. like... That's the <laughs> but, like, in all actuality, like, for example, like, on the camping trip, right? Mm -hmm. If any of y'all, like, hid in the woods and jumped out, I probably would not talk to you for a month. Oh, shit. Like, I would be Damn. that upset. Damn, okay, well. Like, I do not do great with horror and stuff, especially when it's in a situation where I'm not necessarily expecting it. Mm. Like, Damn. this game, especially without the audio, like, I know there's gonna be jump scares, and even still, I'll probably be like, huh, like that, but like, that'll probably be the extent of it. Was Five Nights at Freddy's different? Because you said you played Five Nights at Freddy's, and that game was all jump scares. I did one special stream of the Five Nights games for Halloween one year. That's all I Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I, the way I thought you had said you had played it, like, a little bit more than that. No. No. I played uh, each uh, game for, like, maybe 40 minutes. I did, like, a four-hour stream. How does FNAF compare to this? I've never played FNAF. FNAF is way less scary for me because a decent amount of the jump scares that happen in FNAF, you get a little bit of a warning ahead of time. For example, um, there is a situation where the animatronics will run into your room after you see them through the camera. You'll see them running for two seconds before the jump scare happens. Um, there is a situation the where you have to listen to the game music for like 15 seconds and then the jump scare happens. So you have time to like tense yourself up. So at, at least in my opinion, like this is way scarier for me than like the original FNAF. Hmm. Well, that makes sense, but we might need to get a second opinion. That's why I have today's guest, Matthew Patrick of Game Theory, to tell me all about Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, he won't stop. Hello, Internet. That, dude, that's <laughs> a real horror. That, honestly, I think I'd be more scared to see Matt, to see Matt Pat in the woods than Slenderman. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I remember, so, I, I've... I for, I don't know what I've talked about on the podcast at this point. We've done too many episodes. And nobody watches but... these stories anyways. Yeah, true. So even if yeah, I'm get... repeating myself, it's no big deal. Um, But I used to watch a lot of game theory. And I remember that I followed along with the FNAF floor for the longest time. And like... Then I realized that I didn't care. <laughs> 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 and I, and, yes. but the thing is, is it took until about the thirtieth FNAF lore video. Oh where I was God. like, wait, I was no, like, it's... wait a minute. Wait, is that a meme or is there actually that many? Oh, there's I... that of game theory. Oh no, there's that many. Oh God, I didn't know that. You I'm where I'm 30. like, oh wait, why? Why am I, am I watching in this? this? <laughs> I like the idea I that <laughs> you're now, just I don't watching know game theory. I don't know if he had done more of them, but when I stopped watching him, he was starting to get into like deep Minecraft lore. And oh, I know that, that was that was interesting, and that I, I could see me going back and actually watching. I did like the few of those that I saw. I do like the idea of you just sitting at your desk, like watching, breaking like, out into a cold sweat, <laughs> watching about watch, the bite of eighty six, watching watching FNAF videos, and here's why. Freddy's cock is eight feet long. Right? <laughs> you see, now that now that's a game. That's old school game theory. That's a game theory I miss, man. Yeah, I remember Why? a specific example, but I definitely had that same feeling before. I just really deep into the, a YouTube series. I'm like, wait a second, I don't I care. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of Rob watching FNAF videos and then suddenly like. He just has like an epiphany, like his eyes just like open wide mm -hmm. and suddenly he can start hearing the sounds around him again. He hears birds singing outside. He's suddenly like, why am I watching this? I don't. I care. mean, 
I don't care. Yeah. He slams his laptop down. He, he runs out of his house, goes to his neighbors. Hey, neighbor, I don't care. And he runs down his street. And neighbor's like, <laughs> great, same. And then closes the door on me. <laughs> and your neighbor is Matt Pat. <laughs> I don't care. My Fall Out Boy starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> that now, this that is a movie. The bridge. I don't, I don't care. care. Oh, See, boy. that's that's the movie we need to make. But I know I've done a number of times where, like, I'll be deep into a YouTube video and then, like, I'm like, wait a minute, why am I watching this? There was there's this YouTube channel that I watch a lot of. I'm trying to remember their name, but I forget. Yeah, because there's, like, a bunch of channels that I watch that all do similar content, so I forget exactly which channel did it. Ryan's but basically, reviews. they did a three and a half hour deep dive into a I guess I'd call it an AARG of sorts uh, on YouTube but it was one that I had already like heard a lot about and read a lot about and stuff so like 40 minutes in I was like you know what I've heard this all before I can listen to something else you know what? Not today. Yeah, exactly. Not today. Not not today. Today I claim my time. Not I today, would. YouTube. Not today. Damn, man. Something I've been thinking about recently. Mm-hmm. So, and I want to ask you. Want to ask all you guys this because we only miss each other through Discord nowadays. I can't remember the last time I text either of you guys um so, uh, well i can but that's because of things going on okay i'll, I'll explain after you're done dustin sure i was wondering is do you guys message differently on discord than you do like anything else yes because for like, me like, like when i text home? like when i text like through a text message or messenger facebook messenger or whatever I'll send like one whole message. Every sentence would be in that one message. Whereas in Discord, I'll do the whole like one sentence at a time send thing. Oh, or, like, I kind of make sure my punctuation is good in text. Discord, I kind of care a little less. Oh, no. In that sense, I'm the same. I, I def- try to be I, the same, but I realize I could, sometimes I don't care on Discord. I think I typically only do the Discord thing, like the thing you're talking about, like one sentence at a time mm-hmm. when it's like, I want to show that I'm still here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm actively there. I used to do, I never realized that people did that for that reason until like, I was, I think I was like talking to someone on like a Minecraft server, like way back in the day. And they're like, why do you type out your messages in like multiple ones? And he's like, so, you know, I'm still here. And I'm like, damn, that's right. I'm also 13 years old. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I also make a guess, Dustin, why you might care more about like double checking the spelling and grammar and like Facebook Messenger as opposed to Discord? Uh, sure. Because, and you know, I'm probably you're probably gonna be like, no, Rob, you can do that on Facebook Messenger too, and I'm gonna look like an idiot. Mm-hmm. But um, at least I know the difference between me texting and Discord is Discord. I can easily edit the message afterward. Uh, that might have something to do with it too. I don't know. It's just. When I'm like sending texts, I really make sure I'm correct on things, you know, to like, my extent I didn't do well in English in school. The, but the amount, as far as things fly. The amount of times like I will quickly type in a Discord message. I will quickly type in a Discord message, um, hit enter, and then relook at the message only to realize that I'd like spelled something completely wrong. Mm-hmm. I never and then I spelling. scramble for the edit button before someone <laughs> before someone calls you out on it. Well, fortunately, you know, I'm in a bunch of different discords, right? And I'm lucky enough that there's only one discord I'm in where someone will call me out on it. <laughs> <laughs> Epic spelling mistake. Laugh at this user. <laughs> when has anyone called out anyone for anything in this discord, man? All the time. This is the Discord oh, I'm talking about. Never, never. We've never done that. Before. Actually, you're right. I guess technically it's two Discord. Oh shit. 
oh two discords ours and the podcast one yeah 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 but even that one that, that was just me and dustin <laughs> just two people messing with you man Dude, this flashlight got way too Oh, George, bad. I'm guessing you're sounds like you're the same, both Discord and other forms of messaging. Yeah, I don't really. I don't know. I don't differentiate. Well, actually, I'll type a lot more on Discord because I prefer to type on the you know, a keyboard, whereas a text, I'll be a lot True. less wordy. Right. Unless or I'm less... texting from my computer. Less wordy with the QWERTY. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's the thing the with, the, with texting. I never understood why anyone would ever do that one line at a time. Like, one send, one send, whatever. Oh, I thought oh. that was weird. But in Discord, it looks. I feel like it makes sense more. It looks good. Because there's no yeah. chat bubbles or anything. I also don't want to... Um, I, I, think, I feel like if there's like a lot... I don't um, know if I get notified for every message in Discord on my phone, what, what, but I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, but I don't want to. Um, or at least if it's Discord, they probably have it like open on their monitor. If I'm ta actively yeah. talking to someone, so they're not going to get the notification every time. Yeah. But if I'm texting, but if I text like one word at a time to like someone. Like they're gonna get like the notification every time. Yeah. So uh flashlight completely went out. Good. In case you were wondering why it just like stopped moving and light was out. Matt, why? <laughs> the gameplay doesn't matter. Why? I'm oh, like why, what did Matt do? why the no, hell is my just... phone buzzing so much? <laughs> <laughs> You're just texting George. A. I texted George a, like, like this, this isn't, isn't that, that wild. Yeah. Each individual one. <laughs> oh my god! I just feel my phone buzzing on my like. <laughs> you see what I mean? Now, wouldn't that be great? That would now wouldn't that be crazy? So, to answer your question, Dustin, about the texting, right? Yeah. Uh, so me, Matt, and George, I have been in a group text conversation lately with other people. Oh, uh, old friends from high school who want to get together with people from band again. Oh, nice. Um, the funny thing is that we have I, I, I'm pretty sure we have all tried a couple of times to get them into the discord and they just don't. Oh, that's a shame. Also, speaking of those groups, yeah, I also warned them not to. But, you you know. warned them what? Don't get sucked in a Discord, man. Oh, okay. Isn't uh, our buddy Richard very, like, smug or aggressive in his text? <laughs> a little. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you mean. <laughs> I feel also, like I also worth mentioning, Dustin, in case somehow you get roped into this. Uh, without any of the three of us prompting it, okay? We okay. were not the ones to prompt it. Uh, there may be a, another risk night happening. <laughs> it's just oh. wiped it. it. Oh, boy. How that many phone years phone. has it? How many years did that phone with that? He's not showing up. <laughs> I'm not Dust, banned. Dust is not showing up to the function. It sounds like oh. a, it's a banned group chat. I'm, <laughs> you guys can have fun with that with your banned risk. <laughs> Bad risk. Instead of taking over countries, you take over instruments or whatever. I don't know, <laughs> dude. That would have been high. I'm invading the flute, brother. Brother, how how what was la how many years ago was it when we played Risk? Not enough. We last played Risk. We were in high school. No, we were out of high school. That was were the we? Time. Yeah, the first time we played it was the first summer break in college for all of us. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. But then we've played a couple times after that. So like two to three years ago. No, it had to have been more because it was no. pre-COVID. No. Yeah, it was pre-COVID. It, it was like a year ago. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to. Matt, I've, I've I hate to on. tell you this. No, You're don't. getting older. Don't. Sorry, you're old. 
we were we were watching like a we're bunch of like me, we were watching a bunch of music videos last night. Oh my me, goodness! Yeah, me, me, Robin Fanning. Uh, that was a journey. I honestly hate seeing some of them, and it's like fourteen years ago. <laughs> and like, and I was like, which wait, there was one. It was video. one that really frustrated you because it was like ten there, years old. There was yeah, there was one video that was like, I was like, it was like ten years old to like tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, that was a different one. That's the well, was that the the duck song that we no, almost no, got? No, no, no. Duck song's way older than ten years. Yeah, yeah. No, there's one video that we. Oh, I have to. I can look through my history. Yeah, look through your my history. YouTube history. But there was one that was like. We were actually like two days before the ten year anniversary of it. That's what I'm saying. Is it's tomorrow? Is the ten year anniversary? Damn. I'm trying to but... remember which one it was though. Well, just look up song that releases 10, 15, 2013. That actually might work. Uh. It might have been. It might have been. Um. It might have been party rock. It have been. No, but there was I don't know if this is the same one, but there was a song that or a song or a video that I remember talking about in the band room. And the, the song said 10 the YouTube video said 10 years ago, and I was like, that's not possible because I remember talking about this in band. How could it be 10 years old? And then I was like, well, the, our freshman year it would have been 2013 and then and I did not like and, you I, and I rolled up into a ball <laughs> and cried <laughs> uh, we were high school freshmen a decade ago I did yep. I, yeah yeah actually no, no we were sophomores 10 years ago because it's October no yeah true wait Wait. Yeah. yeah. We started Damn. school high school 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad at math. All I know is that it's old. Yeah, 10 years ago we were sophomores. Yeah. 10 years ago. Entire decade. That's Damn. When you word it like that, it makes me I'm withering away. BRB withering away. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go. Not weathered to death. I gotta go grab. I have to go puree all my food now. Because I can't <laughs> chew anymore. Notice, I mean, I can have thick liquids. Dude, you can have as many thick liquids as you want, man. You guys ever try thick liquids? No. I'm sorry, what? There's this stuff. It's like powder. You can also buy it pre mixed, but there's basically this powder that you can put into like drinks water or juice and it just makes it like thick like kind of like honey texture oh okay and uh it's for people that it's for people that have difficulty swallowing i'm sorry say that again people that have difficulty swallowing yeah okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm well aware just... of that problem yep yep so jesus uh come on it's it's only it's all good but yeah we have it at work and I tried it once. I tried the apple juice. Um, it doesn't taste like anything. It's flavorless, so it tastes fine. Mm -hmm. But it like stays in your throat for like an hour. Like you feel it for like an hour. Mm. And I'm like, this uh, is that that was disgusting. On the topic of us, uh, you know, being ten years from our sophomore year, uh, it's kind of sad to say that I don't know if I've matured at all in those ten years. <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dustin. You also haven't matured in any time of ten years before that as well. Oh come now. <laughs> You're suggesting that I'm as mature now as I was when I was five? That's preposterous. See? Hey. Georgia and I have matured. So we're good. Have we? Yeah. No, Georgia, it's supposed to be a two v two situation. Ah, uh, yes. To... Yes, we're we supposed have. to win. We're supposed to win. What do you mean 2v2? Dustin's on your side, too. No, but like... I went against you, and those two are agreeing with each other. They're winning the friendship war. Yeah. 
Because you guys, you guys, you know, Spain, you know, you know, Spain Robin, Rich. Robin Dustin all the time goes on trips alone and doesn't invite their other friends. Speaking of which, alone. Uh... <laughs> They're yeah, we went on two together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when on my trip, Robert went on his. I went like yeah, we just... happened to run into each other sometimes. <laughs> I went no, no, more, no, no, I no, meant more like a just a two. We planned like... out our trip, and then we both just started and went opposite. Like we did the same loop, just in reverse. <laughs> so we like spent one night together in like Nebraska halfway through. You well, know that's met, how we had to meet up for yeah, the podcast you, in the, the Las Vegas. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> yeah, you just met up. You just met up randomly. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> you didn't. All right, that was one of the stories from the first, from the pilot, when you were that? like, it was something about like you guys had different conversations with like a subway employee and then we were yeah. talking about how it would have been funny if you guys had just like pretended that you just met you you didn't know each other um damn i can't believe he's already forgotten where he he's forgotten his roots man i mean yeah that happens when you get older you lose your memory all right can you draw a clock <laughs> oh my god i'm glad you reminded me of that all right can you can you, can you Wait, draw a clock without the l for me no. I have the weirdest story. And I you... totally would have not told it if Dustin didn't just say what he did. Thank you, Dustin. Dude, I don't think you can draw I don't think you can draw a clock, Dustin. Uh oh. You <laughs> might not be able to draw a clock. <laughs> no no no. So listen to this. So teaching, you know, as you do. This was yesterday, okay. Mm-hmm. As mm-hmm. as I do as well, yes. Uh my first class of the day, second period of the day though. Oh, I know. Um, one of the girls asked to use the bathroom, so you know, being a decent teacher, I let her use the bathroom. Being a teacher, you hear go to the bathroom right now. Being a um, teacher, being a teacher, being a you teacher, said she asked uh, you. She, well, she said, you? "Can I?" And you said, <laughs> "I don't know." Can you what? Well, can you? Oh, and then you're like, "Well, technically, but, um, this answer is more correct, even though it made no sense." But here's where it gets wild: is um. None of my preparation for being a teacher prepared me for her coming back into the room and announcing to myself in the class that she found a clock in the sink. And the next thing I know, she handed me a wet clock. I mean, a <laughs> giant wall she clock. She handed it to you? Yep, yep. It's like, I, I was so... just going to give us a responsible adult. Here you go. <laughs> So I was handed a clock, like literally like one of those circular ones you would see in a school. Yeah, like painfully generic black and white. Painfully special, generic just, clock. Yeah, um, Depot. And it was just you one I guess, four five nine eight <laughs> yeah, It was just exactly. in a sink, you know, as you, someone does. And you and you ask her like, why is it wet? And she's like, well, I had to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't ask her why it was black because she did say it was in the sink. So I think I yeah, put two and two together. Yeah, but she had to wash um, her hands before she left. So she's like, "Well, I guess the so." Clock's hand went. Not knowing the situation, <laughs> but also acknowledging that while weird was far from like an emergency situation that had to be dealt with immediately, <laughs> I basically just said, "Well, looks like we got a new clock," and basically put it in my room. <laughs> Nice bread. Well, wait. So then, at the end of the day, I was able to figure out where the clock came from, and then uh, had to email admin about it because vandalism. Did they like the, the clock? No. So the clock, the uh, clock's supposed to be hanging outside of the student bathrooms. You should have like taken a picture of it <laughs> and then put it in a photo, a picture frame. Why? And it, to memorialize it because oh they stole God. it back from you and then you look at it you're like you know what still right twice a day i mean i already had a clock in my room <laughs> uh, well, that doesn't have history robert There's a history the, of that clock at the school you were used to work at mm-hmm. is it true that they have no analog clocks there that's true of most schools oh wait wait yeah, sorry oh. no 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 sorry sorry that there's no an yeah no it's all digital yeah dang that's crazy because remember honestly one time, it's like... not it's not and you know why it's not we because ha- because the school that I'm currently working at half the kids have to ask me the time because they don't know how to read an analog clock 
Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was asking my sister one time uh, what time it was. And she's like, I don't know it on my phone. It's like, just look at the clock up there. What time is it? I can't see it. She's like, I don't know how to read that. That and is. I was, like, I was like, what do you mean, don't know how to read that? Yeah, like, no, I don't Dustin, know. They don't have clocks we, in my school. We are the last generation that knows how to read an analog clock. That? No, it's like, like, really. That, that should not be a thing. Yeah, Imagine, no, it really shouldn't. But I mean, it, it doesn't really it, matter. I mean, no, I mean it's, to the point, me. it's to the point where I have contemplated taking a 10 minute period of my math class to teach these kids how to read an analog clock. What's, why, though? Why? Yeah. Because, Dustin, as you just acknowledged, if someone doesn't know how to read an analog clock as an adult, right? Mm -hmm. Would you not kind of think that that person's a little dumb? Not well, in a point where no one's being taught it anymore. This is kind of a new norm eventually. Well, but like, they should be taught it because analog clocks are still everywhere in the world. Well, they're going to be phased out. Eh. But, they're but, phasing but, out of schools, apparently. Bro, they better fucking keep them. What's, what's crazy about that is I can't imagine there being something like a that you see all the time. Mm -hmm. You see it throughout your entire life. Yep. And being like, damn, I know that can tell me the time. And I, I don't, don't know how. But I don't know how. Like a and, sundial. I'm okay, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> You're going to be looking at Big Ben and being like, I don't know what time that fucking shit says. Why isn't it analog? Why didn't well, they that's make, why it, why they make it digital? Damn. Uh, well, don't know how to read an analog clock. Uh, similar to that, I remember at work, one of the teenagers that used to work there. Um we learned that she didn't know what quarter of meant or any of those words. Mm -hmm. So like if, she, if we're, so she'd be like, what time do we do this? And I'd be like, uh, you know, quite qu quarter past four. She's like, what does that mean? I'm like, mm -hmm. what do you mean? It's quarter past four. To be fair. I used to be horrible. I kind of got it now, but like yeah. get quarter of quarter past. I would get it's those like, mixed up all the time. It took like, me a while to use that too, yeah. but I'm mean, like, now I'm a pro. Damn, yeah. You know what? You know what thing that like you should know as a kid that still confuses me to this day, then? All right. So I think I've talked about it on the podcast before. If I have, stop me, okay? Now you can keep going. But yeah. the phrase righty tighty lefty Lucy is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why? Okay. So the whole point of it is to help explain which direction to turn the screwdriver to tighten or loosen the screw, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but here's my problem, okay? So let's say I'm spinning a screwdriver clockwise, right? Yes. So... Wouldn't the top part of the screwdriver be turning to the right and the bottom part be turning to the left? You just go with the... No. The flow is yes. going to the right. The what's going to the right? Overall, the flow is going rightward. Yeah, think of it like... Uh, think of it like a, like a Uno game. It's always going one direction. Even if it loops around. Like, I guess if you're thinking from... You know, it's going from west to east and then going east to west. Well, don't get, don't so, do that because we're gonna get, we're gonna get another I'm north. And straight literally, I'm literally, I'm literally just explaining what what you're saying. How it's like, yeah, it is kind of going that direction, but overall, if you don't look at it as like halves, you look at it as a whole. Yeah, I'm that's still what understanding what what do you mean? You turn one side right and the bottom is going left. Okay, okay. so like. Uh, I, I think now I get I, it. Not to explain Robert to him. <laughs> okay, so hear about this. Think, think, think of <laughs> uh, think, of, think of a clock, right? Think of analog a or digital. Analog. <laughs> <laughs> Sundial. So oh, if now, you, now you got me. So if you trace the top of the clock going from nine to three, right? You like you're you're tracing the top the top part of it. You're you're moving to the right. Yes. But now forget we did that, but start at the three and you're doing the bottom to the nine. 
you're moving to the left. Thank you, Matt. That is exactly your, what I'm your saying. Your hand is moving to the left. You see what he means? Like you're you move your hand from the three to the nine that is going in a left direction. If you think of it independently from the or first. if you think of how you hold a screwdriver, like if I'm holding a screwdriver with my right hand, my thumb is on the left side of the screwdriver, the rest of my hand's on the right. So when I turn it clockwise, my thumb is going right, but the rest of my hand is going to the left. I want to clarify something. I You're think Rob is insane. Rob is incredibly wrong here, but I'm trying to explain your thumb. Wait, wait, wait. I'm never yeah. saying I'm right. I'm just well, saying, yeah, saying that you never understood it. Right, yeah. I'm just saying that because of that, I always got confused by the phrase oh. "righty tighty, lefty loosey." We did call it stupid as well. Well, I'm calling it stupid because I don't understand it. I'm not calling it stupid because it should not be a thing. I don't understand it. But the thing is, it's not stupid because you don't think of it in halves. You're thinking of it yeah. in halves. Yeah, yeah you got, you you have, you have sat here and called Fahrenheit stupid. All right, I have never. Oh my god, you're so stupid. Oh my god. Now you're calling me stupid, see? Yes, yes. And you'll agree with me in six months. So I ne I've <laughs> never called Fahrenheit. I've never I've never called Fahrenheit stupid. I've always said it was the Okay, we have the we, we did this original. The original time we talked about Fahrenheit versus Celsius. You told me that I was ridiculous for how why I thought Fahrenheit was better. And then on the one year episode, you got your roles mixed you just flipped you flipped sides you thought you were arguing my point and i had to say no that was my point the whole time and now you flipped it again shut up and get the goddamn pages brother how you doing dustin again i'm doing really good well, i remember one time when, like when we were like 10 or something we had a conversation about which was better jet skis or atvs you know what? I do vaguely have this from memory, but I don't remember what I said at the time. Well, oh. what you originally said was ATV, and I said jet ski. And then a week passed. You had just, I had hopped on Xbox Live to talk to you. You had just gotten off with another friend of ours. And you're like, oh, I just fi got finished talking with uh, so-and-so. By the way, he agrees with me. Jet skis are better than ATVs. But it's his... And I was, I got so mad. I was like, I said jet skis. You're like, no, you did. I was like, I, what are you talking about? I said jet skis. You said ATVs. All right. I like, so, like, I, can I, I be like, honest with something? Rob, do you have dementia? No, draw, well, it's funny you say that. that. I was literally about to say, I'm starting to wonder if I genuinely have, like, some sort of short term memory loss issue. <laughs> I like the idea that Rob is, like, running for president, but he never remembers what party he's running for. <laughs> oh, trust me, I would never run for Republican. <laughs> he has to look down and look at what color his tie is to remember what side he's on. <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly... You probably don't. The color of the tie is actually <laughs> opposite of the color of the party. Oh, that would throw him off. <laughs> so, like, I'm pretty sure like a politician with a red tie is a Democrat, you I'm and a blue tie is Republican. Brother? I might be wrong. I might be wrong on that. I am I almost that. certain that you're wrong on I that. I remember it I in feel one... like there was a thing I had seen about that before. I remember they in... just switch back and forth depending on what they want to do between yeah. red, white, and blue. Mm. Yeah, I think I did. There was, I remember one time uh, there was a history class where I asked a teacher because I was watching, it was some debate. I don't think it was presidential. Mm -hmm. But it was something, and I was like, the Democrats wearing the red tie, the Republicans wearing a blue tie, and I distinctly remember that being weird. So I yeah, asked him what it was. No, okay, no. It was one time. Like, what, like, my entire life, I had recognized that it was one way. This was the odd, this was the outlier, because I specifically remember asking my history teacher, like, like, why was that? And then basically the answer was like, well, well, sometimes they just are doing America colors. I don't think he said it like that. Are you looking for a picture of somebody wearing the opposite color tie? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw your mouse clicking around. It looked like you were in Google Images trying to find a picture of somebody wearing the opposite tie. All right, so I'm not looking for a Google Images, but I did Google, mm. do Democrats wear red ties? I think I think sometimes, sometimes it, they do. They just switch back and forth because we have three colors in our flag. 
or it's like maybe they're subconsciously trying to appeal to the other side. Maybe they're just trying to re trick Republicans right, into someone, thinking that they're a Republican. Someone posted it on Ask Reddit eight years ago. Most liked answer because a better matches their suit. Exactly. That's all it is. They just change up their look sometimes. But still, I mean, that just makes it so that it's going to be more confusing if you're watching a debate. Oh, it wouldn't. Well, it can. For people who don't know politics. Bro. Uh... <laughs> Dude, allergies are crazy this year. Anyone else? Yeah. yeah. Just, Anyone else? Like, Anyone like else? The, getting cold. It's not allergy season, is it? Dude, my allergies have been terrible the past two weeks. Damn. Like, Mine I've were lost... bad earlier. But now I've bad. lost... Mo I've never... not. This is the first year I've lost both nostrils. <clears throat> and like I'm sorry I just, for your loss. All like, the I, I, mask. God, the no, <laughs> <laughs> like I straight up would not be able to breathe through my nose and I would get like dizzy from it. Matt, you know that yeah. feeling? Yeah. Imagine that. But that's your life. Uh, Post-surgery. and um, What year was that? That was... 2016? That was, was, that, that was the year we graduated, right? I think. Yeah. When you got the nose nose surgery. I know 26 is when I found out that was even a thing. Nose surgery? Because it was at my... Yeah. Because it was at my um, birthday party that Matt dished me at. Bro... <sighs> <laughs> Guys, we need to stop bringing up all this old beef on podcasts. I'm not no. even talking about like things from our past, but like things we've already gone over on the podcast. No, we can Keep afford this. <laughs> yeah, I will never. <laughs> I will never. Quarter... Live that. Half of this voice caller is our only audience, so we can afford yeah. to repeat things sometimes. George, I have an important question. I have a less oh, than important answer. George, I, are you subscribed to the podcast? This is like the fifth time we've ever asked you since we started it. Well, it's a good thing my game just crashed so I can check. <laughs> that doesn't even just know off the top of his head. Do you? Do you know? Do you know all your spots? He was grilling Fanning. <clears throat> he was grilling Fanning about this yesterday. I don't understand why Fanning yes, isn't Georgia, you subscribed. Are. I can see right here. Also, Georgie, that means you have your subscribers. Your subscription is public, just so you know. Wait for what? YouTube. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, They're... so we can see every channel that Georgia is subscribed to? Can you do that for me? Um. Uh, let me see. All I know is that if you appear in our subscribers list, no, you don't. Okay. I see Dustin though. No. <laughs> don't look who I'm subscribed to, please. Oh my god! All. Oh my god! Oh, all of form. these. All of these. All. Oh, all these. Not Pokemon. Pokemon Two. Pokemon Vods. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Shorts. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here, here's a Pokemon fan question. channel. All right, here's an interesting question for y'all, okay? Okay. If we... All right, so if all of us looked at your... The channels that you are, that you are subscribed to on YouTube, right? Yes. Which yeah. channel would be the one that we question the most? Which right, would I'm be the... Look at my subscribe list real quick. Yeah, which would, would be... Would you question... Yeah, like we'd like, be like, you guys why be like, are you subscribed? No, like question is in like, really? You're subscribed to that? Like a negative oh, thing? Oh, like, ooh, judgy. Uh... Yeah, like kind of judgy. Not necessarily negative, because like it might not be a bad thing, but like something that we would not expect you to be subscribed to necessarily. Okay. Hmm. Good Probably question. Hentai Haven's official YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was not ready for that answer, but okay. <laughs> no, I don't think they have a YouTube channel. At least one that I'm subscribed to. Let's check. Hmm. I'm trying to think of... Because I'm not... They do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. 
Yeah. Robert, <laughs> I haven't answered your question. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I hated YouTube, YouTube channel. But before that, uh, I have this one YouTube channel that I've subscribed to. I subscribed to them when GTA 5 came out. Mm -hmm. Because they would show you like how to do the story missions. And okay. like, they did like a playthroughs of it. But I specifically subscribed to them because I could just do the missions on my own. But they would do it in the story order because it's open world. But they would show you like the actual story order, so it would make sense to the story. Oh, so yeah. I subscribed just to do that, and I'm still subscribed. So hopefully, when someday GTA Six comes out, they'll also do it for <laughs> GTA Six. Oh my god! <laughs> Are they at all active? Yeah, they're now? still active. Oh, okay. So there is a good chance that they. Yeah, do they that. still post about GTA stuff. And anytime there's like a new DLC or a new mission on whatever, they still they post about it. There you go. So, off GTA the, 6 comes out, I'm going to know. <laughs> off, off the top of my head, probably the one that you guys would be, like, questioning the most is um, this YouTube channel that I follow called Audit the Audit. And oh, it's yeah. Uh, you know that channel? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, basically, what it is, is they take footage of an encounter with police and they analyze it from a legal standpoint as to what the officers did legally, correctly, illegally. Um, if there's an argument over the law in the video, they explain exactly what the applicable law would be and who's, whose side would be correct. More often than not, it is showing how incompetent cops are. Although occasionally they are like, yeah, no, the cop did absolutely everything correctly and the citizen's a fucking dumbass. I honestly can't find... I think I've... One that is weird. Yeah. Isn't there... Wasn't there someone that did something similar around here? Georgia, yeah. that you mentioned? Yeah, 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 I have. I'm subscribed to them. What is it, like an audit channel? Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, so basically there are people who do audits, which is like they'll question police actions and record them. So this YouTube channel takes those recordings and then like audits the audit is why it's called what it is. Uh, let me see here. I'm looking at the channels that I'm actually subscribed to to see if there's anything else that y'all would question. Uh, I have a channel that I follow that uh, talks about plane crashes. You okay? Oddly specific. Yeah, it's a new channel. Actually, I'm subscribed. I only subscribed to them like two weeks ago. I have one that's about that's a person that washes dogs. Yeah, and like they 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 run like a uh, like a place where they, you know, like a pet groomers, and you just like see dogs like get like washed. And they're okay. just get they're funny because some dogs are sometimes some dogs are really chill when getting their bath. Some are not mm -hmm. they're pretty funny. Sometimes just, I like mm -hmm. to watch when she does cats and they just look grumpy the whole time. That's yeah. nice. I remember Dude, man, it's probably the most normy stuff. Most normy channel, I think. Yeah. I remember one time we were watching that. You and I we were watching the one on the boxer. And she does like oh. a little intro on what the dog is, like the, the facts about the dog breed. Yeah. And she had mentioned something like, um, you know, sadly the boxer's known as the heartbreak breed because their average lifespan is only, at that point, you just clicked off the video and you're like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Don't need to know that. <laughs> I don't need to know that information. <laughs> Damn. No, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, not much. Yeah, mine's a uh, mine's pretty normal. To summarize, I got Twitch streamers, TikTok <laughs> clippers, uh, posters. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. uh not just bikes. Where is this not, one YouTube? A bunch channel. of urbanist stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's this one YouTube channel that I follow. That's a 50 year old lesbian woman who's a teacher. Huge. Interesting. She is like the most sweetest person I've ever met. I've I've ever seen. I should say I never met her. 
don't know why I said that. <laughs> Met in the uh, internet sense. Met in the internet sense. Been introduced to, sure. Mm-hmm. I wish I could meet her. She's awesome. Get some Very tips. sweet. I'm sure there's some uh, transfers between English and math. Get some teaching tips. Now that I think about it, I was just looking at my list of channels that I'm subscribed to, and there's a couple of them that there's a couple channels that I could have sworn I'm still subscribed to that I'm not anymore. Interesting. Damn. I think I think I understand why Fanning isn't subscribed. Why? I think he just appreciates a clean homepage. He doesn't want a bunch. He doesn't want a bunch of stuff. He doesn't want a bunch of like. You know, you have your homepage where you see your subscriptions or your subscriptions tab, and he just wants to see stuff he watches. You know, that's that's fair. I think, I think that's fine, man. He can watch us. He's not gonna watch Bro. us. He should though. He gets an. He gets enough of us. And we get enough of him. I will we... tell you right now. I have listened to every episode of the podcast on YouTube that I was not on. Have you missed one? Good one. No, I've missed one. one. I've listened to every episode. (laughs) Yeah, you have to as editing. I missed a couple. (laughs) You you did miss a couple. We talked about that. I meant listening to, but yes, I also missed a couple being at. Being AFK. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Did you guys see uh, uh, Fanning and Rob were talking to me about it yesterday, but did you guys see the response I gave Fanning? Oh my god. Uh, Yeah, I saw the essay, but I didn't read it all. (laughs) Oh, don't worry. I had already told Matt that he has to read the entire thing I word for word on the podcast. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) Uh, the, the, The story that I was telling them was that I was high. You know, as you do. Mm-hmm. And in that, the worst, you know, a lot of people do a lot of fucked up things when they're inebriated. And I did the cardinal sin of posting a meme in the wrong Discord chat. Well, no, George A. did. Put oh, no, me. it was you. Never mind. It was me. Yeah. It was yeah. a fitting meme. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got mixed That's, up. My bad. That, that is why. That I guess we can we can blame Georgia because that's why it was open because normally generals open, but I had yeah. I had D and D open because I had looked at his meme or his uh, the music he had posted. Uh, for other people, this is putting me. This is putting memes in general, which apparent which is kind of the, the norm on Discord. You're not supposed to do that. So if you want to translate this, just imagine that I put meme in general. And that's a big no. Big no-no. Can't do that. Keep in mind also that you put a meme in general, chat, but you also own the Discord server. <laughs> like, so... Like, it's not uh, even like you're just a general person and ad- and mods are like, hey, you should do... It. Fucking, you own the server. You can do whatever also, you it, also, it's just like a server of friends. It's not like an actual like yeah, a community. Yeah, it's a Discord, Discord server. server. Just, yes. <laughs> Back to what we were saying about how none of us call any of us out <laughs> for anything. <laughs> uh, that's Never. definitely not something we do. Uh, so, and this was at night. This was, let's see. Uh, this was, yeah, at night. And then so, in the morning, uh, Fanning posted, why is this in D&D chat? And then he posted a GIF that I don't even know the source of that just says mods ban him. Uh, I didn't like that. GIF. <laughs> Let me see. I didn't like that. <laughs> I was so, like, damn. What are you saying, Dustin? You're gonna say so, so did you type this all out? Yeah. So... Oh, I thought this was a copy pasta. No. no. Was so oh, I, I, t- I thought so too. So no. I typed I typed all this out. Uh, I had I had basically just woken up and looked at my phone and saw that he had posted this. So not only did I type this whole thing out, I typed it on my phone in my bed, and I didn't you even get out of bed. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even get out of bed. <laughs> I think I, <laughs> I think I woke up at like 
eight o'clock and I posted it at eight, eight, like eight forty. Yeah, I don't know what was what, what came over me. I just didn't. I was just like, I was just like, I'm not letting him get away with this. <laughs> There's no you, way. Uh, There's no way I'm letting him get away with posting this. So I want to go ahead and read what you typed out. Um. Yeah. Two. Two clarifications, though. One, as I've learned in the past couple of years, I might be dyslexic. Uh, because I can't <laughs> read out loud for for shit. Also, my allergies suck, so um, I might sound a little nasally. That's fine, because you sounding a little nasally makes it sound like the fucking, like, nerd who's correcting the mod or whatever. <laughs> let, me, let me put some glasses on. Yeah, like, actually, um, I own the server, so I can put whatever I want where I want it, Fanning. Holy shit, that's Thong and Rampa. What? That's it. Dustin accidentally posted Dong and Rampa. What do you mean he accidentally posted Dong and Rampa? And you'll see. You'll see later. You'll be like, oh shit, that's what Matt was talking about. Okay. I hope it doesn't spoil anything for you. No, it's one. Oh, okay. That's how I recognize it. All right. Oh, God. All right. So, why is this in D&D chat gif that says mods ban, ban him? That's also weird. Why does it say ban, ban? Anyway. So in my response to why he said, why is this in D&D chat, I wrote, because these invisible walls created by these arbitrary channel names only serve to create a false sense of order and control in our lives where we have lost our autonomy due to years of allowing the wrong people to take power and mold society into a system that only serves their greedy self-interests. There are people dying in the street, children going hungry, and the very stability of our planet is crumbling more and more every day but we have been conditioned to ignore these horrors. Why? So we can, so we instead focus on persecuting those who step out of line in a way that does not affect the bottom line of corporate politicians and big businesses. Because if I am too scared to put a meme in the wrong discord channel in fear of being called out by my peers, how could I possibly stand up to the real monsters in my life? It saddens me to see. Yeah, no, it saddens me to see you fanning have fallen victim to becoming one of their puppet generals an officer of the quote unquote law flashing only a paper badge and a tenor gift keyboard. It pains me to see someone so lost, someone I would consider a colleague, a friend, a brother, to have had your mind so poisoned that you seek this flimsy sense of pride by protecting your Discord community, by chopping off the head of one of your own, when in reality you're only serving the wishes of our dark overlords and suppressing our cries of love, happiness, and freedom. Despite how you have betrayed me this day, I will still fight to the bitter end to see your mind cleared and your heart freed from this evil that has found its way into your soul. If there is a shred of you left in there, Fanning, I hope that you hear our songs of strength and hope. This was a preemptive strike against those who rule from the shadows, the first step to the path of liberation and the first battle of many in this war we did not choose to fight. That is why I posted in the D&D channel, quote-unquote Fanning, because right now it's all I can do. That's pretty funny. That's a that, one. that is amazing, Matt. And then, and then, and then he responded with Walter White like dying. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably too shook. <laughs> it was like it's like, damn, what the fuck do I do? Yeah. You, uh, so and then I went, yeah, out, and then I went on with my day. After yeah, that. like like Matt said, we talked about it yesterday. Uh I fig I ver I assumed that he had um handwritten it out. What I was not ready for was him telling us that he did it on his phone. Oh yeah, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really sucked. Yeah, that, at, any, at, at any point I could have just got gotten up and went on my computer. <laughs> I like, like the nah, idea though I'm of you idiot. being so frustrated. You were like, I can't even be bothered to get to my computer right now. I just gotta type my vent my Well, I just wanted to I say something. It was just like, well, I'm just gonna I wanna type something that like the channels don't really matter. That was all I wanted to say. But then I just kind of kept going. Yeah, you said Matt, it. I, <laughs> Matt, I need you to do me the most important thing right now while you're still on the message. Yeah, what's up, man? I need you to pin it. Oh, I can pin that. Yeah. We are not losing this beauty of a message. 
in message. Should... Fanning's going to get that or <laughs> that, <laughs> that a message to his pin. <laughs> He's going to like, oh, oh, what, what message was it? See pin messages and it's just a <laughs> brick. It's also the only thing pinned in D&D chat. Oh, perfect. <laughs> No, my favorite line is um if I can find it to becoming one of their puppet generals, an off an officer of the quote unquote law, flashing only a paper badge and a tenor gift keyboard. <laughs> I guess that's where I'm guessing we got the gift from. A tenor gift keyboard. Yeah, that's that's what got me too. <laughs> because I didn't know if it was like giffy or tenor and i'm like oh, i gotta make sure i get this right so i had to go I check mean, to see what it was I'll you check what this words <laughs> yeah the default thing is yeah so how long did you actually spend like crafting this message uh, probably like, like half, half an hour, hour? probably oh, like half an hour yeah was it worth it yeah it was worth it man all right cool i just got i just had a i just really liked that everyone assumed it was like a copy pasta and didn't read it <laughs> Yeah, no, I never like... bothered reading. I assumed it was a copy <laughs> No, like I said, I didn't read it in full, but I had read the beginning part and then skimmed through. But as I was skimming through, I was like, oh, no, Matt hand wrote this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I, I, like, I... Even yesterday, I was like, Matt, you hand wrote that, didn't you? Yeah, well, you had asked me if I did because you were, like, unsure, but then you saw that I wrote fanning. Right, I saw fanning like, written multiple times, so I was that like, make oh, sense. he did handwrite this. Nah, I was impressed. <laughs> yeah, and Jenning's been real quiet <laughs> lately. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I had a nickel for every time my friends went on a tirade about me. <laughs> I'd have three nickels. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were yelling at Fanning when we he joined Discord today. Because he had like he had joined and he has we all have like the sounds that play when we join now. Well, so, I also no before that I I asked if people wanted to hang and he was like, "Oh, are you gonna ditch us like yesterday?" And then I laid on, laid it on to him. I'm like, brother, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy this. He's here. He's here. Just play games. So he yeah, he joins. And then he's like, oh, like the sound stops like a half a second goes by. And he's like, well, you guys give me the silent treatment. And that just ticked me off. Yeah, I got it. I was like, are you OK? Why do you, do you need to talk about something? Are you feeling OK? What is this? My, my favorite thing is from my perspective, y'all things that I don't want to play. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll join. I wait, like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds or whatever. I look, I'm like, oh, Matt, George, and Fanning are all there. Perfect, I'll join. I join, and I'm just getting an earful of Matt, and I just stay <laughs> quiet for, like, a whole minute, just letting him get his rant out. In my I'm brain... Like, I don't know what this is about, but this is amazing. In my brain, I see, oh, Rob has joined, but I can't <laughs> stop, or else it loses all power. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, all right. He's were you just happy? To... Were you happy that I stayed <laughs> quiet and let you finish? <laughs> like he's just gonna have to sit there. He's gonna, <laughs> and he, like he's gonna be so confused. I'm gonna have to explain what's going on again, but it's okay. Yeah, that's just that's oh, just what we got boy. going on here. That's what we got going on. That's yeah? our dynamic. The healthy we friendship were... we have. <laughs> if we were a sitcom, the healthy. Hey, we... hey, I think we're good. We're not we're not toxic. We're not as toxic as other people. We could be like friends we could be like friend groups that like betray each other. Betray yeah. each other's trust. Yeah. We would, never, we would never do that. At the end of the day, it's all a bit. And I think we, we just do bits. Help. We we just do bits. We do do bits. Boo! <laughs> you really think you're gonna get me with that? I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit in a screen shake every time you do that <laughs> <laughs> to make it look like I got you. <laughs> make, make it look like you got him.
Dustin just goes boop. boop. <laughs> oh, actually, t- t- there was also a message I wanted to ask about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want that. It's a uh, G- Georgia. Oh, oh it boy! It was yesterday. Oh, because you said it was after. So you had said that you weren't that you weren't around. So oh. I immediately asked you what her name was. Yeah. Assuming that was the reason. Yeah. And then a little bit later, I had asked you what her star sign was, even though I had fully already figured out at that point, I'm pretty sure who, who, who you know, who you were hanging out with. But I'm still like, what's her star sign? And you respond with, <laughs> you responded with, if it ain't Mercury in Missionary, then she's not toxic enough. <laughs> I want yeah. to know if I want to know if you can kind of break down. <laughs> you see, this is kind of the exact opposite, where I feel like this is also a message of immense power. Um, <laughs> but you have done it in, dre- but this is kind of the lack of. I, I went for a more verbose kind of like I'm just gonna destroy him with words you went with a very short like but like a short jab i had a long wind-up punch this is more of a short jab if you could just kind of explain what this means (laughs) (laughs) or your kind of your word choice (laughs) because I mean, Mer- <laughs> don't like you're hearing for the first time <laughs> no i know um <laughs> yeah, we all we all read this message <laughs> yeah i i think it's really funny so, i think you just came with the first words that came to mind <laughs> instead so, of typically it's like retrograde um no i know i know that's that's that was the no, bit i was going yeah, for yeah no it's very funny so, it's a very funny message